Blocks, blocks, blocks. They're the foundations of a Squarespace website. They're how you build beautiful bespoke designs for your site and if you're a designer for other people's websites. But did you know that every single block on Squarespace has its own specific ID? And let's be honest, we don't want to trawl through Google Chrome developer tools to find these IDs because that would just take forever. When you want to apply a code to a specific item on a page, you don't want to have to constantly dip back into the developer tools, go back, test it, make sure it works, and then repeat that process for every other block because that just 10Xs the timeframe of a Squarespace build. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you the best tool that I've ever found for Squarespace, and that is a block identifier plugin for Chrome. Now, I can't take any credit for this. It's obviously not my creation, but I want to tell as many people about this tool because if you haven't come across it already, this is going to change the game if you want to add code to your Squarespace website. This is Squarespace ID Finder, and I've mentioned it in other videos. It's what I use for the base of a lot of my codes whereby I want to target specific sections, collections, which are pages or blocks. So this is by Heather Tovey. So full props to Heather for making this. This has been an absolute game changer for myself and thousands of other Squarespace designers. What you want to do is use Chrome, obviously, then you want to add it to your Chrome, add it to your Chrome browser. Once that's in, you'll see that when you click it, you get things like this and I'll show you how it works. So right now we are in my website and everything in here has an ID. So this is how it looks in Chrome. You click it on a page. So make sure you're on Squarespace. Obviously it won't work on a non-Squarespace site. You can see in yellow, collection ID is the ID for the entire page. So if you want to apply a code to just one page and everything within that page, use the collection ID. If you want to apply code to a section, which is this and then this for example then you would click on section and that would copy the section id then within the section we've got blocks so if you want to target one specific block you just click on the block copy that and it's done so if i was to go into custom css and if i wanted to do a code so if i wanted to hide this block i would click id finder i would find the blocks id so this is the block here i would copy that so I know that I am targeting now that specific block. I would open my curly brackets and within that I'd put display none. And you can see I've targeted that block and now it's gone. And we can do everything else with it. So if I wanted to give it a margin, for instance, I'd put margin left and then let's just say 50 viewport width. And then you can see it moves across. But if I was to target, for instance, the section instead, that would target the whole section and move that across. But it wouldn't move this across if I was to then target the whole page with the collection. That moves absolutely everything across. So do you see how it works? We are targeting either an entire page, an entire section, or we're going right into the micro and we're going with just a block. And believe it or not, this resource is completely free. I don't know how it's free. It should be paid. But hey ho, let's milk it while it's free. So all you've got to do is download it and you can start right away. Now, if you enjoyed this walkthrough of Squarespace Block Identifier, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out all of the resources in the description.